Welcome back to the channel. First of all, I have to say Happy New Year. I know I'm a couple of days late, but I haven't had any time to record videos, tutorials or stream. So I do apologize about that. I thought about making this video to just take a look back and have some perspective on 2020. First thing that happened in 2020 was I finally was able to switch full time freelancing with 3D. Right now I'm able to pay the bills, live off of the 3D work that I do. Huge part of it was Instagram because most of my clients come from Instagram and even with a really like minimal following like I have like it's actually possible to get enough eyes on you to to make a living out of it. It's been interesting in the sense of how everything developed over time. It wasn't it wasn't like an overnight thing and it's been kind of an interesting experience because I haven't had any like nightmare clients or clients that we didn't understand each other or stuff like that. So it's kind of weird talking about it because it's been a great experience so far. We'll see what happens in 21, but 2020 has been good. <laughs> There were a couple of things that happened at the same time that really exploded my platforms and it was a huge help in achieving more in the sense of freelancing. One of those was domestic. <laughs> so that was a huge surprise because I, I got featured on Domestica for a Puma post. If you don't know, Domestica is basically an aggregate. It's sort of like a Skillshare, but it's more Spanish oriented or Spanish speaking oriented. A platform that I was following for a long time. I learned some stuff in terms of social media from them. They have some really interesting quick courses to learn basic skills. And it was a huge surprise to get featured on there. I got a bunch of publicity from it and a bunch of offers for work. Another huge thing that happened was I got featured on 36 days of type, which was insane. It was a difficult period because I was doing client work. So basically I had three steady clients that I was working constantly for. Then I had the personal page. So personal stuff, portfolio stuff, um, I don't know, R&D, you know, research and development of techniques, uh, trying to keep up with uh, the tutorials on YouTube. And then it was 36 days of type. So there was a period, I think, of two months that I was just all of the time, like 14, 16 hours I would wake up I would start working and I would go to sleep when I set the render and everything for the next day that was a grueling process like 36 days of type if you have the opportunity try it because it really pushes your limits in the sense of like okay what can I do in a day and I was ready for it in the sense of like I had a couple of posts ready uh, prior and then I just winked it and right the like the last post, I think it was number nine, got to the 36 days of type page, which was again, huge moment of gratification. It was a bit of a strange feeling because I didn't work on that post nearly as much as on some, some other posts. And yeah, I will definitely be repeating it in 21. Uh, what else happened? Oh yeah, then I got an NVIDIA sponsorship. So basically I got two 2080 Ti's from NVIDIA and I made a couple of tutorial series for NVIDIA, which was again, again crazy. I, I just, I didn't, I didn't expect that at all. I contacted them via DMs and I said, look, I see that you don't have a lot of things on Blender. If you're interested, I would be glad to, you know, do something. And we actually, and I actually got a response and it was like, yeah, sure, we like your stuff, let's do something. And I prepped a couple of tutorial series that I'll be linking down in the description and I also put them around the screen so you can check them out. I have a full MoGraph series that's gonna come out. I have soft body techniques. So an overall interesting experience with NVIDIA. One of the most difficult periods, I think it was from September to October in Barcelona. I went to Barcelona because of my sister. It was her birthday and I wanted to be with her and see if everything's okay or whatever. And I remember a lot of clients that were really steady. I think they started to feel a bit the effects of Corona. So things started to slow down. I got worried. Of course, I got like I, th I thought to myself, well, now, now I'm just going to, okay, so maybe I should just close the shop. And I also had a couple of offers in the meantime, but none of them really came to fruition. And it, it was a bit frustrating to say the least. And then I got invited to a Snapchat AR residency, which again, 
how I don't know. Basically, if you don't know, Snapchat has yearly annual residencies, I think, where they select uh, several people and you get prompted to create an AR filter. Now, I've made some AR filters on Instagram with Spark. Basically, I got contacted by some, I think they were like intermediaries for Snap. I got contacted, they said, look, this is a great opportunity. You get some funding, um, try it out. And I was like, look, I have nothing else to do. It seems interesting. When I received it was a prompt about storytelling. So I had to create something based on storytelling. At that time I was still in Barcelona. So I was just working from my laptop. So I would just create a really colorful scene sort of in, in, my, st in, in my style. Yeah, quotation mark, huge quotation marks. I made it, I even took a recording of the apartment where I was staying in, so I could like do the composite thing, whatever. And I've sent it, and when I saw there was like a Google form type of thing to fill out, and I saw that if, like, like I saw some prompts where it was like, if you're a team, and I was like, fuck, <laughs> I'm standing against teams i have no i have no chance of getting into this there there's no way i'm gonna get into it so i made it the best i could and then i just sent it and i just out of sight out of mind and after a couple of days i've got the official invitation like yeah we like what you did we would like you to we would like to welcome you in the program <laughs> And it was a really good experience. We had it from November till the end of December. There was a huge, huge, huge festival at the end of December uh, online, which I couldn't attend for the most part. I tried to attend most of the sessions, but I couldn't because of the project that I'm working on right now. We had contact with Snap. We had access to their Discord server. Huge, huge, huge amounts of learning material, like. It was a really growing experience. You learn so much because you have four weeks to make an AR filter. Now that might sound a lot, but these, mind you, these were complex filters. Like I did a room that's overimposed in the real world and it's filled with characters and that sort of stuff and you have to explore it. So, so there was a lot of things there that needed to be done, like converting from Blender. I knew how to do it from Spark, that was it, because Snapchat uses its own dedicated program, uh, Lens. Lens is, by the way, far superior to whatever you can find in Spark. And yeah, the channel, <laughs> wow, like, I think I posted my first official tutorial sometime in December last year, and in one year, we're all together at now it's 4,700 subscribers, which is insane. A bunch of videos, a bunch of you guys who are always supporting. We got monetized, which is again, insane. Like in, in, a, in a year span, there, it was a lot of work in the sense of learning and trying, but it's still fun. It's, it's not a chore, you know, you sit down and you're like, okay, how can I think about something that's going to be useful? And I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm, I'm, of course I make mistakes, maybe I miss something in a tutorial, maybe I miss something somewhere else. In general, I try to just inform, and then if I can help it, I can answer some more detailed questions in, in the comments. But that was another thing that I wanted to do in 2021. So I want to develop this channel, not to be just tutorial. I really liked off the cuff stuff, like making the intro, where you can see me losing my freaking mind. Streams, streams are so freaking fun. Like I, would, I wouldn't have imagined, I didn't see the appeal up until I tried it. I think I made four or five of them, not really sure, but I don't know, it's just fun. If I if I could, if I didn't have like work every day, I, I would probably be streaming like every other day for sure. What I want to do in 2021 is I want to organize stuff to first have a bit more space for off the cuff things. And then I would like to have like sort of assignment based tutorials because I can see people most of the time have trouble with tutorials. Either it's because my inadequacy, because I messed up something or I didn't emphasize something or I didn't explain something very well. So that's a thing that I'm trying to be better at every time I make a video. 
Um, but another thing is like it's it's difficult to to get to a tutorial and then learn everything from it. So my idea was to create tutorials that can have assignments at the end of them. And we can then use, I don't know, a communal hashtag or we can make a Discord server where we can share our creations and we can give feedback, but not saying feedback like on Facebook where it's just 50 people shitting on a person because they don't, I don't know, use an HDRI. This is the stuff that I want to do moving forward. A more assignment-based tutorials on YouTube that we can then check together in under a communal hashtag or under, I don't know, a Discord server. We can give actual feedback to each other, have something that's a bit more connected and where people can actually really learn, not just learn a trick, but really learn the process that goes behind something. So yeah, that was 2020 in my case. It went okay. I just wanted to thank you all for watching the videos, the tutorials, for making it possible that we achieve a higher number on YouTube of subscribers, of views, and uh, for all of you supporting me on Instagram that have made it possible for me to have a platform where I can, you know, develop myself and have offers and work in 3D full time. So hopefully you get that in return somehow in 2021. So yeah, this is gonna be it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.